Hi and welcome to my retro 24 hour clock using Logic and a 555 timer. To my left here I'm simulating a 555 timer in Multisim. Quite often in electronics we build circuits, simulate them before making the real thing. The 555 timer is important in this circuit because it creates the electrical pulse, that's a voltage that switches on and off like this and it's that electrical pulse that our circuit counts and then displays on 7 segment display. Below me you can see our 555 timer in action. It was built on breadboard. You can't see the green LED switching on and off simply because the circuit is set up to be going very quickly so that we can test all phases of our circuit effectively so we can skip through 24 hours in about mm, I suppose about 5 or 6 minutes something like that. To set the frequency for your 555 timer, there is a well known equation which you can see over here. And it states that the frequency of a 555 timer is equal to 1.45 divided by R1 times 2R2 times C1. And if you can do that in a calculator, don't forget to put it in brackets. Here we can see the effect of making R1 much larger than R2. And you see the duty cycle, that's the difference between the time when the pulse is on and off, is very much in favour of the pulse being on. We really want a pulse that's um, on and off for around about 50% of the time. So in order to achieve this, you make R2 much larger than R1. Remember in a 555 timer, R1 and R2 are both in action on the charge cycle, but on the discharge cycle, only R2 is in action. Therefore, to get a duty cycle of roughly 50%, if you make R2 much larger than R1, you'll find that the charge and discharge cycles are roughly equal. When you've selected suitable components to produce a frequency of 1 Hz, you might want to consider adding another two components to your circuit. They are a, a lower value capacitor, much lower value capacitor, and a switch. And you put them in a circuit like so. And the reason for this is so that you can switch between your normal clock pulse and a much faster frequency for testing all of your seven segment displays. That concludes the 555 timer aspect of this circuit and now we're going to move on and look at the counter which is the next stage of the circuit. 